Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for Honda Civic 1.8 Sport. And this particular car is registered SP06AYX, and mileage at the start of the road test is 108,688 miles. The reason we do these road tests is basically so you can actually get to see the car in operation that we're advertising. I would say it is actually rare for me to do one on what we call the trade cars, obviously the cars we've taken as a part exchange, which is what this one is. Um, but it just drives so nicely, I thought I'd just try, um, do a quick video of it to show you it in operation. Um, we've just serviced the car and just having an MOT done as well um, over the next few days. So. Um, Obviously, that'll all have been done prior to the car being sold. Um, but the car drives really nicely. The engine starts absolutely instantly, as you should expect from a Honda. Um, settles to completely smooth, even idle. Um, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or actually any other part of the car. It's all in fine order. Uh, but the engines are brilliant. They're obviously cam chain driven. They're very, very, very tough and reliable. Uh, just regular maintenance is required to you know, keep them that way. Um, but you don't have to go over the top about it. It's, um, you know, I always think it's essential to change the oil on a regular basis and the filter. Um, but apart from that, you know, the engines will be incredibly long lasting. Um, they're also genuinely brilliantly economical as well. You know, I've had loads of these. Honda claim 43 to the gallon. I think the worst any of my customers really get is a sort of high 30s who just does pure town driving alone. Um, but if you mix your driving up, 43 is dead easy. I tend to get about 45, um, and I've got plenty getting over 50. So it is, you know, the fuel economy is really good on them. Um, let's put it in here a second. I'm going to lose that argument. Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch in the car is absolutely spot on. Bike points exactly where it should be on the car. And the pedal itself is nice and smooth in operation as well. Clutch then feeds through into the six-speed gearbox. Um, and it's exactly as it should be. All the gears change beautifully. It feels really tight. All the um, linkage feels really good on it as well. But and again, a lovely gearbox to use. It's got a really short throw very very sporty and feel it's just there but it's just a, a gearbox that you like to use rather than some gearboxes and cars which can be you know come with recalcitrant and you know it's a bit vague and lifeless this is something that sort of suits the character of the car because you know they very are you know they really are sort of driver's cars steering on the vehicle really really good on the civics so sporty very quick in operation as well and perfectly weighted um, it's, you know, it's just as I said you just turn the wheel a fraction to get it to move chassis responds beautifully it's um, sprung perfectly as you turn the car goes with it it's absolutely brilliant um, again I can't feel anywhere in the steering at all uh, tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at all going back to the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, but again it all just feels nice and tight and taut there Likewise, the chassis, what I'm looking for on road tests is any kind of sort of thunks or clumps coming from underneath. There's nothing at all. You'll hear it hitting a bump, but you don't get any kind of chatterings or knocking noises at all. Uh, brakes in the car, very good. Literally just put a brand new set of front brake pads on the vehicle. So I'm not going to stamp on the brakes too hard now because that's the last thing you should do when you get new brake pads fitted if you can avoid it. You should obviously bed them in, but when you hit the pedal, it's a nice solid brake um, pedal feel. There's no kind of vibrations or pulsing at all coming back to the brake pedal. Looking around inside the car, it's in lovely condition in here. You know, for the age mileage of the car, it really is. Um, no squeaks, no rattles, really well put together car, uh, but a lovely, lovely dashboard to sit behind. It really is. Um, all the readouts, all the pixelations, absolutely perfect. Um, all of it working exactly as it should as well, by the way. Um, all the switches and um, functions there. But the dash itself is just a really class design. It really is. It stood the test of time absolutely brilliantly. Um, and I know I know not everybody likes the interior, but that's the joy of it as far as I'm concerned, because I, I think that's a good thing. Um, the dash is just, it works as well. It's not just 
sort of fancy to look at. You've got this lovely high up MPG, MP, MPH readout rather, so I can look at the car in front, but the corner of my eye I can clearly see the speed I'm travelling at, which is good for your driving licence and obviously other people's safety as well. Down below that you get this wonderful kind of hologram effect underneath with this big rev counter with the information display slap bang in the middle of it flanked by your temperature gauge and your fuel gauge temperature gauge by the way uh, full operating temperature now is running as a third which is exactly where it should be on a honda car um, as i said the start of the video the point of the video is to pick up any issues and um, say nothing in, in, in any essence at all but the only thing that doesn't work on the car or may need looking at if you really want to um, air conditioning isn't pumping out uh, cold air which is actually quite common on civics at this age not something we're looking to attend to by the way so please don't think we are um, I, I want to highlight it so you know about it prior um, it can be a number of things on civics it could just be simply a regas um, quite often it's the main fuse underneath um, which activates the little clutch for the compressor um, but actually quite commonly it is actually the compressors themselves and it's not economic to do it for the 20 days a year that it's hot um, it's not worth spending this sort of five or six hundred quid getting them done but as I said it's not something we've checked it could be something more simple but I'm just looking at worst case scenario because the car drives beautifully it really really does you know aside from that you know it feels like a car that's on half the miles it's actually done um, if you've got any questions about the car as, as always please don't hesitate do give us a call